mean, outside of Connecticut, you look at the teams that were there, most would not have predicted that, and certainly two teams from non-power fives, nobody expected to be there. Nice entry pass to Kata, who has six points off the bench to learn from veteran players and not have to be the go-to scorer, but it's not the case for this UCLA team this year. Yeah, people need to relax and be realistic. Nice job by Carlson, a good position, and then the flush. Carlson, great second line defender, coming over, making the plays. Matt penetrates, another block, back-to-back -back possessions. Blocks for Carlson, Nuba, able to clean it up inside and get the stuff. Step back three, it's good! Gabe Madsen drills it, and the lead is up to 12 for Utah. Carlson on the low block, remember, Butte and Jill's got three fouls. Carlson, great pass, Kato with the poster jam on Buchan Jill. Carlson on the low block. Remember, Buchan Jill's got three fouls. Carlson, great pass, Kato with the poster jam on Buchan Jill. Got to feel pretty good if you're a Utah fan about them being in the top four at worst. Oh. Kato trying to get the offensive rebound again. Oh, hustling the Bruins. Counted and one for Kato. Plays Oregon twice and has to play USC and UCLA on the road. Carlson with the alley oop. Cato at the flush. And straight points. Now 12. Madsen drills a three. And with UCLA's struggles, you wonder can they make up an 18 point deficit even with 15 minutes to go? When they are whole, they're pretty good, and we're seeing that tonight. An opportunity for a transition bucket. Badgema scores, and it's 53 to 29. UCLA might need a puke bucket right now. 20 to 2 run by Utah. Looking to add to it. Badgema for three. It's good. The largest margin of victory for Utah against UCLA is 32. That was back in 2015. Step back three from Erickson. Utah can't miss right now. I'm going to be watching. I'll be very curious to see how they play. Carlos with the block. And Utah has hit the 90 point mark. UCLA 90 to 44.